I woke up this morning and then I read the comment. It is from Dan in New York. Or is that Danny? What happened to the Max Force? I was just kidding. I wasn't really crying. Don't take it serious. Don't take me serious, guys. I think it's time to tell you guys what happened to the Max Force. I sold it! The reality is that that engine is a really crappy engine. And I'm sure most of you will agree with me. I just had way too many issues with it, with the EGR system, and it, it, it was just it sucked. It just sucked. Honestly, I, I didn't want to deal with it anymore. It was just taking too much time from my day to fix all these little things. So I sold the truck for 6,000 Canadian dollars. Question comes in from NE7S29 and, and he asks, or she, have you tried to change the oil pressure sensor? Usually a cheap fix. And this person is, is referring to the video I uploaded asking for your help. My pressure gauge was doing not erotic, you sickos, erratic things. Fortunately enough for me, thank you so much for suggesting that. Yes, it was the solution to the problem. Beginner asked is it possible to buy a tractor as an international student before getting pr a few moments later oh pr is permanent residency and my answer to this person was i don't see why not you need a cvor number here in ontario and it stands for Commercial Vehicle Operators Registration. In the United States, you need what, what they call an authority, I believe it's called. I don't remember getting asked for a citizenship or any sort of residency, but you must double check regardless. Big Sean asked, I found a 2013 with a million miles on it for 3500 bucks might need EGR is it worth it <laughs> no don't buy it do not buy that please keep your money man you know what I would do instead I would get those 3500 bucks and just go to the casino I, I think you have a better better odds making money that way with those 3500 bucks what? what so hail Khan asked or commented good job bro I was wondering where you disappeared to well so hail this business has been really good to me I've had very little time to make videos because I've been so busy with this business now that we're we're in I guess you can say in the middle of a crisis this business has been insanely busy man insanely busy to the point that I had to hire somebody to, to help me RMS asked can you sponsor me bro I'm really a good truck driver in another country and want to do this on Canada for higher earnings I can't do that bro I'm sorry man I can't sponsor you how about this you sponsor me I will send you my PayPal and you can just send me a small sponsorship and I'll say hey RMS is a really good guy um, it's up to him. Sakib Siddiqui asked, Hey man, I'm in Montreal, Quebec. 
I am looking to start a trucking company with two close friends. Can I speak to you on the phone or by email regarding setting everything up? Uh, Sakib, you know, I have a whole series of videos that you can check out on how I did it. See, Sakib, my time is valuable. I would like to take some time to, you know, give you some advice and show you how to do it one-on-one, -on -one, but I have to charge for that time. I've already spent hundreds of hours making all these videos just so, so you can benefit. In all reality, Sakib, it hasn't been easy trying to grow this channel. This channel, as a matter of fact, is still not monetized. So Sakib, I would appreciate it if you watched all my videos and if I one day do get monetized you will see an ad appear in the front of the video or even during the video Don't skip the ads. Freedom Hall asked how did you get the money up I drive a medium-duty tractor and trailer my trailer is only a 36 footer so it's not that long it's not that expensive it's used and my tractor is also used so my equipment isn't that expensive it's not we're not looking at a hundred thousand plus worth of equipment I'm literally driving less than fifty thousand dollars worth of equipment so what I did was I saved half and I and then I borrowed half Siddish Dubé asked what's the monthly net profit yeah okay yeah you guys want to know how much money do I make okay so net profit in all reality I, I do have to make an entire video about this but I'm just gonna break it down to the approximates here in Canada an average city driver I'm a city driver not a long-haul driver long-haul drivers obviously earn more with their own trucks those guys are earning probably hundred thousand dollars a year if not more on average here in this country for a city driver maybe 60,000 Canadian is the average 70,000 Canadian it's probably the average here uh, here in Ontario with your own truck of course if you are working for a company you're, you're earning less you're earning maybe 50,000 a year you asked what is the net profit after paying maintenance fuel insurance truck devalue licensing and my own salary net profit is probably in the ballpark of maybe 1500 monthly maybe around 17 18 probably 20,000 a year net profit and and that also has to be taxable so after taxes you're probably looking at 15 grand after all of my expenses including my own including my own salary okay so my own salary is obviously you know upwards of 60 70 somewhere around there that is the net profit 1500 bucks a month Jackknife TV wrote a funny comment. Still in business with Maxi Turd. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was really funny. Thank you so much for your comments and your questions. If you have any comments or questions, please write them below. I will make another Q&A eventually. And I just want to say thank you to all of the 1,025 people that have subscribed. I do need all the watch time that I can get. So please watch as many videos as possible. I really need your help in order to get 4,000 watch hours in the last 12 months. Thank you so much for watching.